Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I want to get real about a question slash statement that I hear a lot from people who write into me. I can't stop masturbating. What do I do about it? What's wrong with me? How can I stop? Some of the advice I'm going to have for you is potentially going to be a little bit surprising and it might even be a little bit unpopular, but I think it is going to be really helpful. So let's just get into it. Guys, gals, non-binary people, you're getting yourself in the mood. Don't want to be really curling them like this. Let me start that again. <laughs> can I get anything right? I can very vividly remember the first time that I masturbated. I was 13 years old. I was in my bed and I remember feeling that I had done something very bad. I remember feeling ashamed and dirty and like I was different, like the other kids at school couldn't possibly be doing this as well, that I must have been perverted. And it wasn't until many years later, well into my early adulthood, that I learned that actually all my friends had been masturbating throughout school because masturbation is natural. It's natural to want to do things to our body that feel good. And it's for that reason when I've made videos on masturbation before and people have said to me, well, what age is too young to start? I've always said that I don't believe there is an age that's too young to start. And the reason for that is quite simply because you're touching your own body. Is there an age that's too young to let someone else touch your body? Absolutely. You should not be letting anyone touch your body before you are ready and emotionally mature and capable and able of taking that on because it is a big deal. We often make out like sex isn't a big deal, but it is a big deal. There are obviously laws that are different in each state and country around what age you can be having sex. And most of all, if you are going to do it, then you should be having protection. But that's for another video. I want to talk today about touching ourselves and how much we should be doing it. And I'm going to get into that right now. I'm going to get into what I think is the right amount to masturbate. But before I do that, I have to give a really big thank you to today's video sponsor, Manscaped. And it's funny that we're talking about touching our junk because Manscaped is actually all about trimming and maintaining your junk and keeping it in tip top shape, which also makes it easier and more comfortable for you to touch or to have a partner touch. Although Manscaped was originally made for guys, I personally use it myself on my bikini area and I've given Manscaped shavers to lots of my guy and girlfriends and they all love it. Manscaped are honestly one of my favorite brands. It's why I partner up with them so regularly and they're a huge supporter of my channel, which quite literally means I get to keep making sex education content like this because they keep sponsoring me. Now, this is going to be a bit of a controversial opinion, but I personally do not believe that there is such a thing as too much masturbation. I also don't believe that there is such a thing as too much sex or as watching too much porn, because I believe that so many of these ideas we have around sex and particularly so many of the limitations and restrictions we put around it are really just about demonizing people having pleasure and taking pleasure in their own bodies. And by the way, masturbation, sex and porn addiction aren't actually supported in the DSM-5, which is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. Some people don't feel the need to touch themselves or to have sex ever. Some people do it rarely and some people want to do it all the time. And as far as I see it, there's no right or wrong. Certainly not if you're not harming anyone else. You're not going to do any kind of permanent harm to yourself by masturbating a lot. The only risk that you have is if you are masturbating dry, in other words, you're not 
naturally lubricated or you're not adding in some kind of personal lubricant in order to decrease the friction, then you could absolutely end up with some discomfort. If you are going to be masturbating a lot, then you should definitely be ensuring that you're well lubricated and it doesn't need to be natural lubrication. KY jelly is perfectly fine, but you need that lubrication if you're going to be repeatedly touching yourself because otherwise the friction is going to start making it feel very uncomfortable. The reality is there are still many religions and schools of belief that say that masturbation is a sin and they are all about making us feel really crappy about feeling good in ourselves. Touching our own bodies is a natural thing. If we have an itch, we scratch it because that feels really good and it gives us a huge sense of relief. And if we feel horny, we touch ourselves because that feels really good and that gives us a huge sense of relief. No one is going to tell you that you shouldn't be scratching a niche on your body because that has been deemed socially acceptable. But when we are scratching a different, more metaphorical kind of itch, meaning we're horny or we're bored and we want to pass the time by getting off, that is shamed and demonized. And so from where I stand, the reason that so many people come to me and say, help, I'm masturbating too much, how can I stop? Is not because they're doing something wrong, but because of the social and cultural shame and stigma that we have created around self-pleasure that has made people feel like there is something wrong with them because they want to enjoy their own bodies. And I frankly think we should all bask in our own bodies and the fact that our bodies are capable of experiencing pleasure and that we can repeatedly have pleasure and multiple orgasms is an incredible thing. That's not a thing to want to try to stop or to feel ashamed of. If you have a partner who is shaming you for masturbating, then to me, that's a red flag because masturbation is something that's very separate to your relationship. That belongs to you. That is your own body autonomy. You should be able to touch your body on your own as much as you want, and it should have nothing to do with your partnered sex life. And no one should try to police that or tell you when and how you can do that. Anything that you've read online about so-called health consequences of masturbating too much is urban legend. It is myth. There is no scientific literature whatsoever to prove that masturbating a lot is harmful for your health. In fact, regular masturbation can have myriad benefits for our health. It can help us to feel less stressed, which means we can be more productive in our day, in our work, in our jobs, in our study. It also means we can be calmer, so better for our partners. And it can give us an, a heightened sense of self-confidence because it allows us to get to know our bodies and to feel more comfortable in our bodies. Plus, when you masturbate often, it allows you to work out what are the ways that you like to be touched and what are the specific types of touch that get you to orgasm. So then you can communicate that information back to your partner. So as far as I'm concerned, masturbate away, masturbate all you want, use toys or use your hands. Just make sure that you are following hygiene practices. If you're using toys, you should be washing them thoroughly with sex toy cleaner or hot water and soap between every use. You should also be always masturbating with clean hands and trim nails. And you should always be ensuring that you are lubricated so that you don't have any friction. And if you've got those bases covered, then just go and have some solo sex fun. You also, by the way, don't need a reason to masturbate. You don't need to feel horny. Sometimes I masturbate because I'm bored. Sometimes I masturbate because I've got some time to kill or because I just like it or because I've got a new vibrator that I would like to try out. Masturbate for the reasons that feel right for you and don't let anyone make you feel bad about it. And also, small kind of segue, make it more comfortable by having everything nice and neat and trimmed down there by checking out Manscaped. The link is under the video if you wanna check out any of their products and that link will apply your discount code instantly so you don't need to type anything in it at checkout. And when you buy from Manscaped, you'll also be supporting me to keep putting out sex education videos just like this. If you like this video and you would like more content on solo sex, then give it a thumbs up because that's how I know that you like this content. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, 
Make today the day that you join my sex positive family because I put out new sex education videos every single week and I would love you to come along for the journey in educating yourself and undoing and unpacking all of the shame that we are taught to feel around sex, pleasure and our bodies. And I hope that this video has helped you to start that process. And with that said, I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.